Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 194, max points on a line. So in this problem, we are given an array of points where each value in the point array is an x and y coordinate of a point in x and y plane. And what we need to find is the maximum number of points in a line, a straight line. So here in this example given below, we have these three points. So this is the point 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3. And we need to find the line with maximum number of points. Basically, we need to find the maximum number of points that lie on a same straight line. So since we know that this forms a straight line and all of these three points lie on the same straight line, so the value here is equal to 2. Now the problem here is how can we find or how do we know if all of these three points lie on the same straight line. So let's transfer this problem here and now this becomes a problem of finding a slope because we know that um if two points have um if three points have same slope which means that suppose we have three points in this is x and y plane one two three okay let these be three points uh let this be p1 um this be p2 and this be p3 so um the x and y coordinate of this be x1 and y1 and similarly for these it would be x2 y2 and for this one it would be x3 y3 now what's the formula for slope it's uh, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so this is the formula of slope uh, well we could uh, replace these y2 y1 with uh, y3 y2 x3 and x2 so that's just uh, one way to do that now what does this slope tell us basically the slope between these two point if you find the slope between these two point this is actually the angle that it's making with the x-axis so since this angle is equals to theta here now if we find the slope between these two points then that would be the angle between these two points at, and the x-axis now if these two angles are equal then that would mean that these three points lie on the same line so that is how we will be using slope to find uh, the numbers present in the straight line now since we know um we find the slope for each of the points so we find the slope for these two points which is equals to theta here and then we keep we choose one of the points we keep it fixed and now we take the another point and we find the slope between this point and these two this point so these two points would also give us the same angle theta right this angle would still be equals to theta so uh, the number of count for this angle we will use map to store the value of the number of counts that we have identified so far so that would be two for these two points this point and these points that we uh, calculated by keeping this one fixed and then finally we would add a value plus one to our result so that would be our uh, result and we would do that for each of the points by like um, traversing each of the points and finally um, these values should be the maximum one so i just hope you get the basic idea of how we could solve this problem basically we will be using the slope function and we will be using map to store our result and now let's try to code it so we need let n equals to land. Let us define um, our slope function. So what do we need? We need two points, p1 and p2 be two points, and then let x1 
y1 is the coordinate of point p1 and similarly x2 y2 is the coordinate of p2 now we would return our slope that is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so this is our slope that will return now we will iterate over each of the points and then we will create a new map each time and um, let p1 equals to points zero okay points i and now this is our fixed point here and now we would iterate over each of the other remaining points and find the slope so for okay for let j is equals to zero j is less than and j plus plus now one thing we need to keep in mind is that these points would not be the same as this point so if uh, j is equals to i then we continue Okay, why is it so in this? All right. Yeah, so what do we do is let P2 equals to points J and then we find our slope. Slope is equals to um, slope of P1 and P2 and then what do we do is now that we have slope we need to update our map if we do not already have the sl the value for this slope then we um, initialize it to zero else map we just increase the value now and now once we have done it for all of the points keeping this one fixed what we'll do is we'll now find our max value max points let us initialize it to one now um, for uh, of object entries of the map points is equal to math max of max points and the value plus plus one and we should finally return our max points let's try to run our code okay ret u R N All right, a lot of typing mistake. Great, let's submit it now. Cool. So as you can see, we did it in the time complexity of O of N squared. This is one time we are iterating over all of the elements in the points array and the next time uh, so that would be a total of, of n squared and space complexity is also in the worst case it would be o of n if all the points lie on different uh, lines so our final result will be here and yeah hope it was helpful.